believe we're good. All right, Shalom with Markham out there. Um, first and foremost, before I start, I want to give all praise to our power, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai, that's the name of his beloved Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, Devon said, Apostles, a great millstone and peace and mercy to the elect. Bashem, Yahweh Kakodash, the name of the Holy Spirit. All right, man, just real quick lesson. Um, um, mindful of the tongue and practice entertainment. All right, now the um, the inspiration of this lesson came from a recent video Apostle Tahar just put up of a you know a Jake just speaking out of turn. You know what I mean? Speaking out of turn, saying the wrong thing, which caused him to be, to which caused him to be um, which caused him to be rebuked. In other words, you know, and um. Uh, really when, when you just have control of your tongue when you have control of your tongue and you know commenting you know control over when to comment and all that stuff that all is that's all important man you know what I mean because if uh, if, 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 um, if Jake wouldn't just say wouldn't wear his heart on his sleeve a lot of times he won't be in the little things that he get himself into you know and um let me see um and through a, a lot of times from Jake not holding their tongue, a lot of times from Jake not holding their tongue, you cause it like uh, you cause burdens upon other brothers. And what I've witnessed in what I've witnessed over the years, certain brothers leave comments which cause a, 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 a rebuke on all of us or or a, a burden upon all of us. Now a new decree came down or something came down because Jake couldn't hold his tongue. You know what I mean? Jake couldn't hold his tongue. And you know, hey, you know, uh, you know, when we come in this truth, even me myself, man, you know, I ain't, I ain't perfect at holding, my, I ain't perfect at holding my tongue. But you're supposed to be practicing from that point forth. You come in the truth. You're supposed to be practicing to hold your tongue. You know what I mean? Learning when to talk and when to speak and stuff like that. And the same thing applies with with the comments, with the comment board and all that too. Because um, just because you're writing a comment over the comment board, you're not verbally saying it. But that's that's seen to everybody that's that's seen to everybody that clicks on that video or or goes to the comments or wherever of whatever video that you wrote the you wrote the comment in when when really you should have just you know a lot of times it ain't even needful for a comment to be wrote a lot of times um a lot of times jake is just really impatient on on getting answers a lot of uh, a lot of times jake is not even seeking for the answer they just want somebody just to tell them you know, a lot of times Jake just want to be seen. It's, it's, you know, it's a lot of perverseness when it comes to uh, Jake using their tongues. You know, when when you come to the truth, you put we all of us, brother, we supposed to be practicing to tame our tongue. And a lot of you Jakes getting in trouble. You get your spirit. I mean, you get rebuked or you you uh, getting in trouble or you get cast out or whatever because you just not you not controlling your tongue. You know, what I mean, you're just not controlling your tongue. All right. Now, you know, I know um, me, myself, I know I'm talking a lot, but it's going to be just when I'm when I hit the scriptures, they pretty self-explanatory. You know, I'm running straight through the scriptures. But um, I know me, myself, you know, I've, I've been fortunate enough to, to grow up amongst a brotherhood. You know, a lot of brethren around, a lot of brethren around, a lot of brethren uh, to to check you where you may slip at. You know, what I mean, but a lot of brethren out there, uh, you young, as young as far as age. You know what I mean? And you was for some reason you just missed that discipline. You missed that discipline growing up of uh controlling your tongue or um um you missed that discipline of of being told you get it's it's a right time to talk. You basically wear your heart on your sleeve. Anything that comes to your mind or anything that you, that makes that is not savory to your thoughts, you know, you bladder it out or you just say it or you just you know you just you just talk when 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 um when um and then next thing you know from you doing that you in trouble or you in a shitload of trouble or some shit or you getting rebuked or you become hateful or something man when you just it, it wasn't even needful for you a lot of you, a lot of times if you just been quiet nothing would have happened to you nothing would have happened okay so let's get into these uh let's get into these scriptures real quick man you know Let's get into these scriptures real quick. 
Now the first scripture I have here is uh, it's, it's in Proverbs 17 and 27. It says, he that have knowledge spare of his words and a man of understanding is in the, of an excellent spirit. Okay, so you're supposed to spare your words as, as few as possible at all times. I practice these things and I'm not perfect at them. Sometimes I talk too damn much, you know what I mean? But I'm being mindful of my tongue though. I'm very mindful of my tongue. And a lot of times I've always asked the Heavenly Father when I be praying, I ask the Heavenly Father to keep the doors, keep the bars or the doors of my mouth. Keep them. Because a lot of times, you know, it don't even, uh, you say some things that's off or not even off. You just say, not even off. Excuse me. You just say things out of season or you just talking too damn much. You see? And the same thing applies with the comment board. You just commented too goddamn much. You know what I mean? Which is a form of talking too much. It says, even a fool when he holdeth his peace is counted, um, even a fool when he holdeth his peace is counted, damn, I can't see, wise, and he that shutteth his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. So when you just be quiet a lot of times, your, your folly don't spew out, you know? Your folly don't spew out. And then you, 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 the correction can stay between you and the Heavenly Father. It, ha it doesn't have to go you know this brother had to get involved that brother no that you just you was quiet and your rebuke or your correction came in the spirit you didn't even have to it didn't even have to go to, through another man or anything of the sort but it tell you that even a fool when he when he hold of his peace is counted wise so a lot of times you don't you just didn't need to say nothing or you don't especially especially being a newcomer in the truth you just don't really need to say too much you know and I tell you, the, the scriptures and every question that you got has already been explained. You know? The scriptures that the, the scriptures have already been explained. A lot of the questions that your brother in that's just now coming in, whether you're young as far as age or you older as far as age, a lot of them has already been explained. But the thing is that you just you just lack in the willpower to search for your answers. Because we made through Spirit of Yahweh Shema starting with the apostles, there's a lot of videos already out there answering almost every question there is that a Jake could have right now. You know? But you're not seeking it out, you're not watching the videos, you're not reading, you're not, you're not praying to get the, the answer. You you um you just you just you just want somebody to give you the answer. You know? When it took a simple search. So the next verse I have here. Is um the next verse I have here is um let me see what I wanted uh Sirach chapter 32 which is in the title of the lesson uh Sirach chapter 32 let me see for some reason I can't fucking let me cut this comment board off I can't see shit okay there we go I had to cut slack your brother I had to cut the comment board off but hey shalom to you brother in this war oh man to the uh to the big bro, Dama Shalom Wa Mak, Yabba Shalom Shabba Kata to that brother. 32 and 7, it says, Speak, young man, if there be need of thee, and yet scarcely when thou art twice asked. So the scripture says, Speak, young man, if there be need of thee. A lot of us is young men. I'm a young man. When it comes to being, being, um, getting placed in a bracket amongst the apostles, you're a young man. A lot of you, 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 um, you know, you find yourself commenting on the board of the apostles. But you, you, you're, you're not being mindful just because it's a written comment. You're not being mindful that you didn't, maybe didn't even have to say that on that board. If you notice the brethren, if you notice in the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shah, the brethren that's been around a little, a little bit longer, you don't just see them up and down the apostles' comment board like that. Because it says, speak, young man, if there be need of thee, and yet scarcely when thou art twice asked. It's just wise, like we just read in Proverbs, just to say a lot of nothing. You may drop a scripture. Sometimes you may say, Shalom, Apostle, Yabba Shema, Shabrakatah, you know, every now and then frequently. But a lot of you cast is just, you just blabbering, 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 even though it's not said verbally. It's written over the common board, which is a, a, a like a, a, a written blatter, a blabber, 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 blabber. You know what I mean? And it said, yet when there are twice the acts. So really, you supposed to hold your words when you when when um, when you in place amongst the apostles or any brother in that's, you know, just just any man. Period, man. This is just something to practice. Period. You know, it says, let thy 
let thy speech be short, comprehending much, in few words, be as one that knoweth, and yet hold his tongue. A lot of times we know you, brethren, know. But sometimes you gotta hold your mouth as if, you know, you don't know. It's cool that you didn't, it's cool that you didn't get the pat on the back for understanding that point. You know what I mean? You ain't gonna get a pat on the back for everything, you know. The Heavenly Father will give you your little um he'll stroke your ego, so to speak, in due season. You know, or basically give you a pat on the back for good, for good, um, for good understanding. But not every time you're gonna receive that. And a lot of times your brother and your you you your your mouth and your verbal is showing that's what you want. You want somebody to, to acknowledge you or something. I don't know. But then you know, next thing you know, you're getting in trouble. You getting in trouble, man. Getting kicked out, you getting this and that. But when, like I said, the fool when he holds his mouth, he's kind of wise. You could have just been silent and everything would have been good for you. It said, if thou be amongst great men, make thyself not equal with them. And when ancient men are in place, use not many words. Okay, it says, before thunder go off lightning, and before a shamefaced it, man shall go favor. So if you shamefaced it, you're very, you're very shameful of yourself. You know, you know, you understand you, you know what I'm saying, you a sinner. You know what I mean? You just trying your best. You're not trying, you you're you're sincere. You're honest and you're just trying to make it. You know what I mean? You, you keep it quiet if you, you know, you speak when you have to speak. Like I said, before thunder, go off lightning. Before you hear some thunder, you're going to see the lightning first. Okay? And then the same thing applies before a shame faith, a face that man goes honor. When you have that type of spirit about you where, you know, you're just doing you and you're just trying your hardest, that's how you gain favor uh, amongst brothers. That's how it's done. Not forcibly. Not forcibly or talking too much or trying to always be seen as something of the, uh, I don't know, of the sort. You know what I mean? All right. So um, let's get this real quick. Um, the next verse I have here is, uh, let's go back to the, the scriptures and let's go to the book of, because that's a, it's an example set in the scriptures for us uh, of this, right, of, of young men just, just, not talking so much there's an example in the scriptures of just young men ain't supposed to talk so much and this is found in the book of job when you read the book of job it explains to you that um it explains to you that job's friends came and sat amongst him and, and counseled with job but there was a man that was amongst job's friend that was young and we're gonna read about him it's job 32 and 1 it says so these three so these three men ceased to answer Job because he was righteous in his own eyes. So three of his friends, it had to be a total of four friends, but three of his friends, you know, they just, you know, they was talking to Job, going back and forth, and they just got quiet. It says, then was kindled the wrath of El uh, Elihu, the son of Bic Bic Rachel, the, bu the Buzzite of the kindred of Ram against Job was his was his wrath kindled because he justified himself rather than God. Also against his three friends was his wrath kindled because they had no, they had found no answer and yet had condemned Job. Now um, uh, Elihu, Elihu had waited till Job had spoken because there they were elder than he. So this is the 32nd chapter of the, the book, of the book of Job between chapter one all the way up to chapter 30 32 was job three friends and job's talking eli who he didn't say nothing to the 32nd chapter now the reason why he didn't say nothing to the 32nd chapter is because of verse, what for verse four just said it says because they were elder than he he was the youngest man of the three so he held his tongue and then the next verse say when eli eli who saw that there was no answer in the mouth of these three men then was his wrath kindled and eli who the son of big rachel the buzzai answered and said i am young and ye are very old wherefore i was afraid and does not show you my opinion you see and does not show you his opinion okay showing you that a young man is not supposed to be blabbering off at the mouthful or even amongst the common board because we're in modern a modern day we're in modern day you know what i mean blattering off at the common board because you're gonna get yourself in trouble man and when you and when ancient men are in place you use few few words you know 
because that from from Jake just rambling their mouth, Jake got kicked out or, or 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 I don't know how you know I can't go I don't you know it's not my business to but you Jake got in trouble man, Jake got in trouble in front of the whole congregation. You know when we supposed to be practicing to tame our tongue and and uh, controlling our spirits and not using many words like that. You know, all right so. That Jake got his got himself in trouble, but that's you know all of us a lesson learned, and made that dude just clean himself up. But you know at the same time it was frightening hearing that like shit. Make sure I'm keeping my mouth in order too, you know. But um, that's an example that that was given in Job. He was a young man. He didn't say nothing until it was time. It was time for him to speak. Okay, now let's jump to um um let's jump to Sirach, let me see, uh, Sirach 20, I believe it's 20. Sirach 20 and 5, it says, There is one that keepeth silence and is found wise, and another by much babbling become hateful. A lot of Jakes don't understand the reason why people don't want to mess with you because you talk too much or you just, you just too much. All right? And the scripture just say much babbling, you become hateful. When you talk too much, you know, you st people stop liking you, you know? You start asking um, weird or unseasoned or unthoughtful questions. Like I said, I've seen over the years and I've experienced over the years, a lot of Jake's have said things over the common board, which caused the which caused the rebuke that cast the bird upon all the brothers because of this one Jake that couldn't hold his tongue or he couldn't he couldn't contain his spirit. So when he when we all got when he got rebuked, it can it was a new decree that or something that came down. We all fucking gotta follow this decree now. And there, you know, which is of the spirit anyway. We know that's of the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shah anyway, but it just happened like that. Like, damn this Jake, man. This dude. Why he just didn't why he just couldn't just be quiet and go and you know and wait on the Lord. It says, some men hold if his tongue because he have not to answer. And some keep it silent knowing it's time. A wise man will hold his tongue till he see opportunity. But a babbler and a fool will guard no time. Very important. Remember, he said, He that useth many words should be abhorred, and he that taketh to himself authority therein should be hated. So that's just something for us to remember. Okay? Something for us to remember. Okay? Let me go to this next precept I have here um, in the book of Y'all Brothers. You already know where I'm going. I'm just going to read a lot of this. I'm just going to read a lot of it. You know, you know, you know, already know I'm going to read a lot of this. It, the scriptures that I'm bringing out is really self-explanatory. And I call the book of the Apocrypha, uh, the, 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 um, I call the book of Sirach, I call that the book of manners because it teaches you manners. It teaches you what our, our parents lacked at, you know, them having not the understanding of what the truth is. They lacked on teaching us discipline of, of holding our tongue and the different, the different many manners that we supposed to have been practicing growing up. And we read the book of Sirach, it, it, it hit all those. It hit all, it gives you manners. That's why, man, I even read the book of Sirach so many times, it ain't even funny. And, and I never, you can't never get enough of the book of Sirach because it's life less, just like the book of Proverbs. Okay? So, um, um, let me grab this right here. This is up in James chapter 1. I'm going to just read a lot of it down because it's self-explanatory, but it just hits with the lesson. It says, uh, it says, My brethren, be not many masters, knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. Okay, and a lot of Jakes, you want to be the leader. You want to uh, have that, that, that seat of authority, but do you, it comes with responsibility. You got to be able to take the responsibility of taking a seat of authority. You know what I mean? All right, and, and then a lot of you Jakes, you want to have the seat of authority, but you want to take no steps of what it of uh, what it took to get to the seat of authority. Okay, but it said that uh, James was saying, look, the masters is going to have a greater condemnation towards them, or in other words, they're going to have a stricter judgment towards them. Matter of fact, I read that verse in NLT. It says, "Dear brethren and sisters, not uh, it says not many of you should become teachers in the church, for we." Who teach, I said, for we who teach will be judged more strictly. So the more, if you want to hire a seat of position, it's going to be more required of you. It's going to be a little more stricter on your on, on you. But a lot of you Jakes, you want to have that seat of authority, but you don't want to take what you don't want to take what comes with that. And that, and that and that's a lot of discipline. Okay. 
Now it says, for in the many, it says, for in many things we offend all. If any man offend not in word, the same as a perfect man, and able also to bridle the whole body. So if you can contain your tongue, that's a good thing. It says, behold, we put bits in the horse's mouth that they may obey us, and we turn about their whole body. A bit is the thing that you uh, put in a horse's mouth to, so that you could turn the horse left and right. It says also, behold also the ships which they, which though they be so great are driven of fierce wind, yet are they turned about with a very small helm, uh, whithersoever the governor listeth. Even so, uh, even so the tongue is a little member and boasts of greatly things. Behold how great a matter a little fire kindleth. And that's of a that's that that uh, comparison was uh, very was very uh, important because a, a ship, it could be a ship big as the Titanic, but the, the 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 steering wheel or the helm of it is very small. It's turning that big old ship. This little small helm is turning that big ship. The same thing with your mouth. Your tongue is, you know, your tongue is small compared to your whole body. But that thing, that tongue could sway your body, man. It could sway your body to life and death. The scripture tell you that the, in, uh, life and death is in the power of the tongue you see so you gotta learn all of us brother we gotta continue to practice taming that joint man it says uh and the tongue is a fire a world of iniquity so is the tongue amongst among our members that it defiled the whole body and set it on fire the course of nature and it's set on fire of hell it could get you in trouble the tongue could get your ass in trouble you out of there a lot of cats, it was their tongue that got them out of there. You know what I mean? It says, for every kind of beast and of birds and of serpents and of things in the sea is tamed and have been tamed of mankind. But the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil full of deadly poison. You see? So, you know, that tongue could get you in trouble as we've seen with the recent video of Apostle Tar. Dude just got straight out of there. When he just, you know, the best thing to do was just keep quiet. Keep your mouth shut and just do what you do in the spirit of the Lord. You know? You know what I'm saying? Nobody can you ain't there's no cause for a rebuke if you did nothing uh wrong or you said nothing wrong. Like I said, a fool when he holds his tongue is counted wise, man. So, you know, I don't want to make this all alone and drawn out, but um, you know, when I seen that lesson, I'm like, damn, you know. And then, like I said, a lot of us, a lot of us, especially younger men, a younger man as far as age is concerned. Um, you didn't grow up with the discipline. Nobody never checked you on, you know, talking too much or checked you on your emotions on how to control them. So now you come in the truth, you're shedding your old man off. But a lot of times, you know, you letting that tongue let you, you that tongue firing off, or you all on the common board firing off, and you in there, there you go, and there you go, you in, you in trouble. You didn't did something. You know what I mean? You know. So. Yeah, man, I pretty much tagged everything in this video. I'm about to show you throttle for you, brother, and tuning in. Hey, whoever this lesson is for, hey, bro, just clean yourself up. Clean your tongue up, man. We're trying to get up out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to get up out of here. And, and uh, it's discipline that's going to uh, get us into this kingdom. You know what I'm saying? The desire of discipline uh, uh, leads to wisdom, like it say. You know what I'm saying? And the desire of wisdom, wisdom leads to a kingdom, as it says in the Apocrypha. So with that, hey, you brother, and stay strong out there, hey. You know, uh, practice, continue practicing on getting better. You know what I'm saying? Not getting worse. So with that, hey, y'all bashmah shah brak a thumb. Y'all bashmah shah brak a thumb to the aquafium. Hey, shalom.